I'm Adam Weinstein. I'm the president and chief executive of Phipps Houses and the chairman of the board of uh, Phipps Neighborhoods. The organization was founded in 1905 by Henry Phipps. He was a steel magnate. He was the partner of and finance uh, expert for Andrew Carnegie. They sold their company in 1901 uh, and became a very wealthy man and was inspired, along with a couple of his friends, the chairman of the board of and founder of Macy's and a very prominent senator and lawyer of the day to do a couple of charitable enterprises and the one that he chose for his home city was Phipps Houses. New York at the turn of the 19th into the 20th century was not dissimilar from the New York of today, an immigrant town, and living conditions were terrible. And Henry Phipps was very moved by that and devoted a million dollars in 1905 dollars, that's a lot of money, to this enterprise. We built a building in 1905 and interestingly um, a, a group of African Americans living in the West 60s um, in dilapidated conditions heard about this, came to him, said, will you build a building for us too? And so sure enough, he took a chunk of the money built a building on West 63rd Street, and then that was it, because a million dollars doesn't go a long way. Here, here are the main activities of what we do. We develop affordable housing. We own and manage affordable housing, and we provide essential services that make the neighborhoods in which that housing is located richer. My name is Diane Morales. I am the CEO and Executive Director of Phipps Neighborhoods. One of the most powerful things to me about the Phipps companies actually is the intersection between the housing and the services that we at Phipps Neighborhoods provide, right? So if you start with a stable roof over your head and you start with housing, you can kind of breathe it of a sigh of relief, but then you need other things in order to help you become economically self-sufficient and in order to help hope, hopefully the children that you're raising in your household no longer need the affordable housing or the low-income housing. Ultimately, the stewards of the organization are boards of the Phipps Houses organizations. They ask some tough questions about how is the organization growing? Are we being a good employer? We're pushing about 100 individual buildings in 50 different developments. Manhattan, uh, so Lower East Side, East Midtown, West Harlem, Central Harlem, East Harlem, all over the South Bronx and in Western Queens. But our new work has expanded to East New York, Cypress Hills, and soon Far Rockaway. Phipps Housing, for lack of a better term, is sort of like a corporate parent. It also controls a very large number of single purpose corporations. Um, Phipps Neighborhoods is a corporation. Phipps Houses is its sole member, but it's self-governing as its own board. I happen to be the, the chair of that board, but the innovation starts with Diane and her team. It's the longest time I've ever been anywhere, and there's a reason for that. The mission of Phipps Neighborhoods is to help people overcome poverty by providing critical education, career development, and community resources in a comprehensive and holistic way over time. I think people that work here, they find it rewarding that you are actually seeing um, your work benefit so many people. Just the idea of what the company is about, it drives you to want to do better and be better. Emotionally, they were there. Financially, they were there. Spiritually, they were there. Well, FIPS helped me grow personally. They've always offered um, opportunities to continue my education. You know, that, that means a lot. The three best qualities of the organization are competence. I want people to know detail, to know their job. Integrity, the work that you do has to be honest. You have to be accountable for it. And humility, I really would rather we overperform and underpromote. For employees, there's a broad base of opportunities. There have been times when we have seen staff that may have started out in human services and have actually moved over to property management. I started off as a part-time HR assistant and now I'm the HR manager. Support and pay for certain types of programs that were related to what I may have been doing right now or what I may need for the future for growth. No one does this work for the paycheck. 
No one does this work um, because it's just a job. If you do this work, you're, you're really committed to it um, and passionate about it and believe in it. And we're so fortunate. A lot of affordable housing companies are smaller and you know we have an HR department and we have a payroll department and we have a construction people who work for us and we have accountants and we have social workers and we have this rich tapestry of people. My advice to employees always is to first talk to your supervisor. They are the people that know best as to what's going on in the area that you're working in. Do what comes to you and that's that's that was my attitude. Even when you make mistakes, don't feel discouraged because essentially those mistakes are the things that you're going to learn from and those are the things that are going to propel you forward. There may be someone sitting next to you in the office who's been through it a lot and you know, you're internalizing the stress of, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't know. Yes. Because we were all there. There's a tremendous amount of, of openness and flexibility around people who are able to actually articulate that for themselves and, and to their, their supervisors or to other folks in the organization. One of the things that I love most about FIPS um, is our commitment to um, innovation. Um, and so if you have new ideas, things that you've seen work or things that you want to try, bring that into your role in the organization. Um, there's a real chance for us to um, bring all parts of ourselves to the work that we do here um, and we're thrilled for you to do that as well. Welcome to FIPS. Welcome to the FIPS family. We hope that your stay with us is as long and as fruitful for you and for us as can possibly be. We are excited to have you aboard and we look forward to helping to change people's lives with you. Welcome to FIPS. We're so excited that you're joining us. Hi guys, welcome to FIPS. Woohoo! Welcome, welcome to, to FIPS. FIPS. Welcome to FIPS. I can't wait to meet you. Welcome to FIPS family. Welcome to FIPS. Welcome to FIPS. Welcome, welcome to, to FIPS. FIPS. Welcome to FIPS. Yay! <laughs> Oh, my God.